If you've ever said to someone, I just don't know enough, I can't X, Y, Z, then stick around because that's exactly what I'm going to tell you about what I did and how I can totally relate, but you're probably wrong. (laughs) Before I dive into that though, if we haven't met before, my name is Caitlin. I run Launch the Damn Thing. I am a Squarespace educator and designer. I've been a graphic designer for more than a decade almost two. And I've got a lot of tips to share because I started my journey as a college student. I did not graduate. I became an in-house designer at a couple different places. And then I started my own business and I eventually went full time. So I have kind of done the spectrum and I can tell you, I have felt like I didn't know enough so many times. So let's just jump right into that, right? What I noticed was in the early days when I started side hustling, of course, I didn't know enough because I'd always been someone else's employee and my only job was design. I had to talk to the clients and handle process or productivity kind of stuff, emailing, tasks, those kinds of things. But I didn't ever have to handle the business side of the business because that wasn't my job. And so when I started side hustling, I realized, oh, that is also my job. Not only am I the designer and the OBM, the online business manager, I'm also the bookkeeper and the accountant and the (laughs) advertising agency and the social media marketer and the copywriter, videographer, and all of the things. That's a lot of hats to wear. And of course you don't know everything. So I found myself over those first five-ish years, 2015 to 2020, saying to people that I loved when they would happily ask me how things were going, because luckily I have a good support network. I kept saying over and over again, I just don't know enough yet. And that became sort of my justification for buying this or that course, learning this or that thing. And basically, I became a procrastinator learner. I am damn good at learning in order to procrastinate doing something that I am either excited to do, nervous to do, anxious to do, whatever, afraid to do. Basically, I use learning as a crutch. Yeah, I said it. I said it. If that's relatable, please leave me a comment and let me know I'm not alone because I'm pretty sure I'm not. So that was the thing that I kept telling other people, I don't know enough, so I can't charge that much, or I don't know enough, so I have to spend money on this thing first. It was exhausting, and eventually I realized, you know what, I have enough skills now. I can just do. The whole time I had been doing, and it turns out that by doing you practice and by practicing you get better, and over time you are eventually better than when you started. It's kind of how it works. So in addition to that, I was also learning skills from other people who knew more than me, and so that was also stacking in addition to my experience. And after a while, my confidence was finally there. Like, I wasn't delusional. I didn't think I had suddenly become an expert overnight, but I did know what I knew. And so I think knowing what you know versus knowing what you don't know or not knowing things and being aware that you don't know things, that's good. You know what you're capable of, what your capabilities are, what your strengths and weaknesses are. Those are all really good things. And over time, even though you know you don't know enough, you can actually still do the work and you can do it well and you can be proud of the work that you're doing. I just wanted to let you know that I have felt this. It has been a crutch for me in the past. And I will say at every new opportunity, at every new stage in my business where I have transitioned out of a phase in my life and into another, I have felt it again, just in a different form. So back then I felt like I didn't know enough about Squarespace. Maybe later I was like, I don't know enough about marketing. Whatever it was, at every stage in my business, I keep finding things that I feel like I don't know enough about. But the fun thing is if you care and you want to learn, you can just start doing it and get better as you go. Life can happen messily, And this is one of those things that does that pretty well. So don't harp on it. Don't stress over it. Don't dwell on it. Don't allow it to suck you down, drag you down, stop you in any way, shape, or form. Just recognize it. Take action anyway and move on with your life because you will get past that if you actually start working. If you never start, you'll never get past it. I hope that was helpful for you. Just a little bit of a kick in the pants because we all need it. And I just wanted to let you know that I have felt that too. And I'm pretty 
much betting that every other entrepreneur out there has as well. Whether or not they own up to it is a different story. So I'm happy to tell you I am gonna happily own up to that. I experience imposter syndrome and all kinds of other things as well. And if you want to learn more about what I think about imposter syndrome and why I do think we should stop calling it that, check out this video next. That's all I have for you in this one. I will see you in the next video. Bye!